good morning friends it's Tracy and Violet I don't know if it's then I'm making it the next day or a whole new video but it's Nova Scotia living it's about five after six in the morning I just made my coffee I just packed the kids as lunches I didn't have any of it packed from yesterday so I had to do it from scratch but that's okay it's not that hard to do and it's Friday happy Friday everybody uh, yeah this is the last day of school and then the kids are off all next week it's March break so that's exciting. Um, I think Mazai wants to have a friend over, and we don't really have any big plans, but we're just going to take it easy and just enjoy, eh, enjoy, enjoy family time together, you know. So that's my plan, anyways. Um, I have my coffee here, and my husband teaches today. I don't know if he's coming home tonight. He probably will be. And yeah, yeah. But I just wanted to. Uh, pop in first thing well the house is quiet very quiet I like it like that though some, like in the morning nothing's on the TV's not on it's just quiet the sounds of the houses or the house and in all its glory all right guys we're out for the bus I've got me the skate stuff oh it's a beautiful sunny day right around the freezing mark not that cold but the snow will still stay I don't see Randall oh he'll be here after a while I'm sure <sighs> all right here comes the bus I wonder if it's Margaret it is Margaret <laughs> it is Margaret have a good day at school I love you Maze have fun skating have a good day make sure you bring your Getting stuff back home. Oh, there they go. All right, uh, they're gone. There's the other mummy going. We'll go wake up Mally and Zoe. I wonder if there's going to be any kids at the high school. Mally asked me last night if she could stay home. I'm like, no. Yeah, but it's the last day. I don't know. I'm kind of considering it. Like, I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, we're just going in, or I'm just going in. Violet and Boris are still in the house. They come out uh, when those guys catch the bus, but I'll give them some breakfast here shortly. And yeah, we'll get on with our day. Ooh. All right, Violet, your breakfast is out there. Go eat it. Yes. All right, I got a laundry going, wash going. I did go wake up the big kids. We'll see how that goes. Um, scrounged around for some lunch money change. I do have like a $20 bill, but I don't have to drive down to the store if I don't have to to break it. So there's a lot of nickel and dime in it, but there's enough there. <laughs> Just put it in a sandwich bag. They can take that. It's money, right? It's money. Anyway, so wait for that laundry to be done and then I'll probably have another load. I'm sure Mally has clothes. Mazai might have clothes. It's like pulling teeth trying to get them to do anything in the morning. Bring down any dirty dish or any dirty clothes you have. And what happens? Doesn't happen. <laughs> and I have to pick my battles because I'm like, do I really want to start my day off and make their day start off with an argument? Sometimes I bring it down. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, yeah, we'll see. And, of course, after they go, if I go in, there's always stuff they forget. Like, they don't get all the all the stuff. It drives me insane. Watch out, Violet. You're going to go out there and, well, he won't eat it all, but, yeah. Anyways, I'll be back in a bit. I'll wait till that's done. I think there's a towel or two in that to hang up. There's some towels on the drying rack that are probably dry now. I can, um fold up and I got to think about what I'm going to do for supper. I do have a package of sausage. I do have cabbage, but I don't feel like making cabbage and sausage. I could just make sausages. I don't know. And I do have another package of hamburger and I do have some freezer meals. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. All right, guys, we're about to go out and wait for the bus. It's 823, but these were due yesterday. So I'm going to cook them up, hot Italian sausages. I'm just going to boil them and fry them. I think my husband wanted to make cabbage and sausage, but I don't have that in me today, so I'm not going to do it. He's not here anyway, so instead of it going bad, I 
boil the sausages for a bit, poke the casings, and then I fry them up to brown them. And we'll have that and maybe something else to go along with it. All right, casings are poked, filled with water. I'm going to get them on the stove and go out and wait for the bus. There's I, there's Mally and her friend. I just brought the compost out and brought the container back in. What are you doing, Nobs? <laughs> right, here comes the bus up there. Have a good day. I love you so much. You're perfect in every single way. Hey. <laughs> right, have a good day, ladies. Love ya. Uh, Mally and those guys had, uh, Mally made carrot cake muffins last night with cream cheese frosting. Of course she did. Why not? Right? Of course she did. Whipped them up like nobody's business. Anyways, that's what they were eating. She brought one for her friend over there too, so. Not for us though, huh? Not for us? <laughs> All right, guys, I just rotated that laundry. I only have one towel, but, um. I might have another load to do when I get around to it. I did take those dry towels off, so I'll get those folded up today, too. Whew. All right, guys, I just got off the phone with my sister-in-law, but I got a message from my sister. She's going to call me before one today just to, ch you know, talk, chit-chat, jibber-jab, have a yak, have a yarn, you know, that sort of thing. So anyways, it's only like 10.50. This day is going very slow for me. Like, really slow for me. But those sausages are done. I shut them off. Um, I took up three jars from the basement. I'm just like, I should make potatoes and sauerkraut with it. I don't have any personal sauerkraut. Like, I had made it a couple of years ago. But I don't have any left. But I do, I think I have some, like, store-bought stuff in my pantry. If not, whatever. But I, I'm going to fry up those sausages so they brown on the outside. Um, the three jars I brought up from the basement are the dry canned whole tomatoes like those little ones you know with the skin on and stuff I'm gonna cut them in half make like a potato hash because I have some shredded cheese in the fridge and some onions fry all that up in a pan and throw some cheese on top of it that'll be good and then I could have some peas or corn or whatever vegetable I have easy access and um, sausages and potatoes like potato hash and yeah, some vegetables. That sounds good to me. I envision it. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I just got done talking to my sister. Um, I talked to my sister-in-law first, and then after my sister called, I know, I, I think I told you that she was going to call me before one. It's only... Well, it's 12 o'clock now, so she called me at 11 because we talked for just about an hour. But, yeah, what a boost of energy. Like, really. I love it. I can't wait to visit her and see her in person. It's going to be amazing. 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 Oh. Oh. All right, guys, I have not checked back in a bit. I've been doing my own stuff. I always see a boy pheasant up there big old cock out there anyways Misha and Mays got home we'll go out when Mally and Messiah um get them on the bus I'm gonna do up those sausages I had boiled them this morning put the whole pot in the fridge but we're gonna take them out and boil them now and then we're gonna do up that potato hash stuff. um yeah the kids are just having a little bit of chips right now when they got home and fighting out there I can hear them hooting and hollering but welcome March break right I don't have any grease or anything anything in here but there's like 
although I poke those sausages, there's chunks of fat, you know, like the stuff that drips out in that. I'm going to turn this on. I'll turn it on high now. These are all cooked, like they're not raw, but I just want to brown them up a bit. Actually, I won't turn them right on high because i got to work with these potatoes. And I think I have onions in my freezer here. These are dry canned. Like I didn't put water in these potatoes. The water that's in that, that's from the potatoes. I did these back in January of 2020, so it's been three years. The seal is still sealed. You see, I don't have a ring. Let me put this down. You know, canning ring, the ones that are hanging over there. No, the seal is still in there. Still in there. Then I have another one. I'm going to take these out, cut them in half or quarters. I don't know. I can use bacon grease. I do have butter. No, I don't have any butter. Oh, I'm margarine, but I'm not going to use that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh excuse me. This whole thing is bacon fat. I have my fridge. Oh, just a minute ago. Bacon fat. take out a nice big chunk of this and start melting that and we'll see. I'm going to get some gloves on. I'm going to take these potatoes out. You'll hear when I, hear when I pop them. They'll be good and sealed. There. And these are, I'm going to rinse them. I don't know if I really have to. I washed these potatoes real good before I. There. I'll just give it a rinse. Just, it's been sitting in there for three years, but it's not moldy or rotten or anything. It's been sealed, airtight. Right there. It's a cooked potato. Three years. I'm just going to strain this. Dump this and just rinse it. Oh, I need to do more of these sometime because I don't have many of these jars left in the basement. Actually, I should just pop the top of all of these. I'm just trying to empty these jars. Okay. So this won't take too long to whip up. I gotta look for the diced tomato uh, onions here in the freezer. onions. I need that and I'll put that in a dish. I'm sure I'll use it up. I'll just throw it in here with the onions after. Or with the sausages. Big old 
chunk of onion there. All right, I'm gonna get some gloves and we'll cut up those uh, potatoes. So those potatoes. Like I said, they're all cooked. I just want to warm them up and uh, fry them up with these onions. And that'll be that. Maybe I'll quarter them. Yeah, they cut up pretty easy. They're just like, like the baked potatoes kind of thing. And then I got some shredded cheese in the fridge. And some salt and pepper. Those guys got home excited. It's March break. Easy peasy. They can all sleep in tomorrow if they want to. No problem with me. Well, Maze does have hockey. He has his very last hockey game tomorrow, but it's not till 10. So. We'll be good. And then they'll have, I think, one more hockey practice. And then that'll be that. Uh, uh, we'll go from there. Oh, my back. Yeah, I just have this on between a six and a seven, not real high. Just to brown up the outsides a bit. You don't want it screeching high or it'll burn the casing. done and then just whatever can of vegetable I can find I'll just warm that up in the microwave and they can eat these sausages like on a piece of bread I don't know if I have any hot dog buns but or sliced up but sauerkraut I think I do I think I have store-bought sauerkraut in there over top or not with some ketchup and mustard or whatever go from there. I don't always make potato hash like this, but like sometimes it's leftover cooked potatoes that are left whole that aren't mashed. Or you can make it with mashed potatoes, but just fry it up some butter and salt and pepper and onion. It's good. It's good. But this was just down in the basement. Why not? I had a basketball game today. Did you? How'd you make it without your basketball game? It's like it's separate with students and staff. Oh, it's really? 30 to 6 at the bar. Well. Well. Was it just grade 5 kids or all kids? 5, 6. Okay. What is this? Onion. Oh. All 
way. Just about done. One more in the chamber. There. Some perch. And it was that replay. And there might be a picture on Facebook. Oh, I'll have to look and see. And there's jerseys and shorts. Okay. What teachers were doing it? Mr. Doucette. Um. Uh. Um. And. Uh. Mr. Kite. And Mr. Tim. And. Two other ladies. Did you take a bite out of this? I did, just to show these guys that those potatoes were cooked. You can eat the rest of it if you want to. It's cold. Yeah. Mm. They're clean. They're washed. Silly girl. Silly girl. I'm going to throw some onion powder up in this. Black papa. My husband got some more. We had a box of salt, but it broke at the bottom a bit, so we just dumped it in here. Oh, can you see some sort of vegetable in the laundry room? Well, we can make corn or peas or beans. I don't care what it is. Whatever one you want, I don't care. Gotta be something up there. Green beans, okay. That works. Green beans. You should pick. This is just so done. I'm just going to move this around and move this around a little bit. And I'll show you when we're getting close to the end because I am going to get some shredded cheese out of the fridge to throw on top of those potatoes and just let it melt when it's all done because why not? Stop cooking with cheese. Alright, I shut those sausages off. They look fabulous. I just shut this hash off. Ooh, there. It's all kind of browned up and seasoned up. I put a little more dash of salt in there. I'm going to get the cheese out of the fridge. Another bag of fridge, uh, another bag of fridge, another bag of cheese. I still have some more in there, but, you know, I don't need to add a ton. So, this is like block cheese that we shredded up ourselves. And the sausages are off too. They're nice and browned. I use the stuff that's a little bit older, not the newer stuff. Yeah, this is the one. They both look the same, but this one had a little more. I just want to use this one up before I use the other one up. So none of it goes bad. You know what I'm saying? I 
I just want to kind of cover the top of it. And that will be that. I'm going to use a cover to a pan over here. It's shut off, but it's still on the hot burner that's shut off. That cheese will melt down into it and drizzle around into it. I'll get you off so you can get a closer look at these sausages. There they are. See? A little browned up bit. They're cooked all the way through because I boiled, the, boiled them for about 20 minutes. It didn't get them completely cooked, but just to get... I'm not very good at cooking sausages from raw, and I don't want to bake them in the oven. That's what my husband usually does because I end up drying, drying them the heck out, and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, here the, here's my version of sausages. All right, we're outside. Misha's no jacket, but it's not that cold out, actually. It's only, like, minus two or something. <sighs> I'll be outside for the big kids. I lost track of time with the other kids, but um, they're fine. <laughs> they made it home. Oh. Yeah, that stuff's all done. I have the bowl of beans sitting in the microwave, so when it when it comes time, I'll just warm that up in the microwave. Nuke it, so to speak. There's those guys, and we'll see how they made it at school. Comes the bus up the... They come down the hill for the big girls. Misha's over there waiting for them. It's going to get right on their friggin' nerves. <laughs> right on their nerves. <laughs> oh! How was school? That's good. I can't hear ya. You guys are tangled around my chair. <laughs> Roll up my chair. <laughs> yeah, how was school, Mally? Good. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, here's a couple sausages, some potato hash, and green beans, baby. Oh, well, good morning, friends. It's another day. I'm putting an ending on this video. Um, yeah, I lose track of all the stuff that I'm filming, so i got to unload the whole thing. And then some days I squish together, some days I don't. But, um, yeah, that supper was a big success. There was a little bit left over. My husband ate it when he got home. And, yeah, a good way to use up some of those potatoes in the basement. I have more stuff in the basement. I got to start using that more often. Um, I had been using my freezer stuff, but I need to start using my canned stuff too. Uh, I'm not too worried about it, but like I should, if I want to have goulash, I have canned hamburger in the, fr in the basement. Use that. I have canned sausage. I have canned pork. I have canned, you know, this and that and stuff. So I should start using that more often. But anyways, yeah. Um, I just want to put an ending on this because I have two more videos to edit, I think. So I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love ya. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.